Which loop is it? Okay, you're gonna go loop de loop. Probably. Let's see how we get on. There are generally two types of loops in a golf swing. Two types of figure eights, if you like. Now the first one that many amateur golfers are familiar with looks like this. Swinging back on the inside to come over the top from outside to in. Now this is your slice, your hook, your pull, your topped and your heavy shots. And don't mention it. your socket. <laughs> I mean, you'd never throw a ball like this. Play tennis this way. Or baseball. Now the second loop that the majority of good players and elite players use looks like this. The club head starts back, working outside of the hands to kick back, working on the inside in the downswing. When it's going bad, what does it do? Yeah, so when it's going bad, it usually gets inside, and then I set the club a little, um, it, doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't lift up properly and doesn't get onto the right plane, and my elbow gets a little bit this way. So This is the exact way you would naturally coordinate a movement without even giving it a thought. When throwing a ball as you head back, the ball hand tracks on the inside to get back to the target. Now depending on what you're doing or whatever sport you're going to play, I mean you can relate this to so many things and so many movements. The racket or the bat heads back outside of the hands to then kick back and work back to the target on the inside. Without even knowing it, you're using the natural forces correctly to get back to the target in the most efficient, consistent and powerful way. In my opinion, every golfer should be able to master this loop in their golf swings because it has so many benefits. It's the good stuff. The apex irons are standard blade five, six, seven, eight, nine to pitching wedge and not only is it more powerful and consistent but it will correct the majority of swing faults that the average golfer suffers with <laughs> but no more yes you <laughs> this is how the lever system should work effectively the hands and arms and wrists and the body it's just there to support this movement. As you start back, push the handle down and the club head will work up and in front of you. It doesn't, it doesn't lift up properly and doesn't get onto the right plane. Am I now where can't the club head go? Yes, that's right, behind you, which is what many golfers constantly fight with. So if I take it on the inside, it sort of gets this way and then from here there's nowhere to go apart from lifting it. So I lift it and then my right elbow gets sort of up and across and the club gets across the line and then... Now push the handle down which forces the club head out in front of you. Now with light grip pressure, allow the weight of the club head to drop down on the inside, down into the ball. I was to get it on, on plane here and be able to just turn to the top 
get that right elbow nice and tucked in and then from there it's much easier in the transition to get down onto you know a, a great position at impact. So as you can see the club head is circling around my hands. It's looping around them. Now as you practice this you can start to gain control over your hands and start to hit draws and fades. Sometimes I do that and get into the position there, turn up, and then hit. Lovely. Doesn't take long to ro warm up a Rolls Royce, does uh, it? I don't know about that. Then you can build it up and work it into your full swing. This is how the lever system in the golf swing works. It's not your hips or your shoulders <laughs> doing it. I feel you've kind of been conned into thinking that this is about swinging turning your shoulders and using your body, where in actual fact 70% of your speed and your face control comes from how well you use your wrists. Okay, so we wanna get a very active wrist. Yes, if you become a very powerful player down the road and you're carrying the ball 300 yards, yes, maybe we'll take a little bit of the wrist action out, but you still need to have the control of the wrist. But if you're only carrying the ball 200 yards, 220 in the air, you need to get your wrist very active. It gives you face control so you can hit fades and draws and it also adds, as I said, about 70% of your speed comes from how those wrists work in the golf swing. Now the skill lies in your hands, your arms and your wrists. So loop it, will ya? <laughs> and tell your friends about me. Great shot that, perfect. It's a great shot that, perfect. Great swing, perfect that. Yeah, perfect. Great shot. That's a cracking shot, Leo. That. That's a long ball, that, mate. It's a great drive, that. That's miles down there. Massive drive, that. That's a great shot, Lucy, mate. That's alright that. Great shot, well done.
Boy, that's a great shot, Lucy. Boy, that's a cracking shot, Ruby. Boy, that's a great shot, Ruby. Just awesome. Boy, that's a great shot, Ruby. That's on the green. Three on the green from that's a cracking shot that. Right. What's your name, Kai? My name is Kai. And I do some golf and swing. And I do some a lot of stuff than I do. So I'm ten feet older. Oh don't hey Kai, Kai, wait, wait, wait. Do you like Batman and Power Rangers? Yeah. Which one are you? Are you Batman or Power Ranger? Both. Batman. Batman, I thought so. I thought it was Batman. <laughs> I'm the power ranger, mate, aren't I?